for tuning in. I'm at the far north reaches of Lake Lanier today. I'm going to be heading up one of the rivers. This time of year the stripers, white bass, and even walleyes will be up here trying to spawn. The problem I have is it's a mud hole. We've had so much rain it's just really muddy. And my hope is I can go far enough north to get above the mud. It'll start to clear north as the water flows in so it'll, it'll clear north uh, before it clears south. But it's one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, I love uh, catching the white bass and stripers up here. It's, it's a blast. So stay tuned. Hope you can hear that turkey goblin over there. <laughs> He's really going at it. Son of a gun was that cold. That was a cold ride. It's only 36 this morning. This is my first trip up this spring. It's just been too muddy. I have to say, water clarity is not that bad. So hopefully I can get up far enough to get above some of this dirt. My hands are so cold. Wow. Mm. I'm pretty familiar with the river up here. The problem is it's so muddy you can't see the stumps and rocks so it's kind of treacherous. That's what I'm looking for right here. Big old white bass. Man, they're fun. That's what I've been looking for. They're just, they're not easy to catch so far. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, it's another jumbo whitey. Cool. I'm talking a good white bass. Another jumbo white bass. <laughs> Man. Whew. They're just not, you know, I'm not catching bunches of them, but man. If I can find a School of them, yeah. Right. <laughs> Another nice white bass. Exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see if I can get a few more. Fishing is not easy right now, but there are a few fish. Ooh. There's not any big concentrations of them up, up here just yet. This is a blast. <laughs> you know what? 
these are some jumbo white bass. Just beautiful. Man, love it. Like I said, there doesn't seem to be a whole bunch of them, but I'm catching enough to make keep it interesting. This area here is where the river channel curves. I like catching the white bass. They're fun to catch. I have no complaints out of me. I wish I'd be catching a few more. So what I'm looking for is little subtle changes in depth. The, the river here, it's not deep where I'm catching these fish. Catching them about eight, eight or nine feet of water. Like I said, it's not like they're, oh, there we go. It's not like they're really turned on. I'm catching enough to keep it interesting. Ooh, these are, they are fun to catch. Boy, this, I'm gonna have to net this one. That is a gymungus white bass. Just beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Jumbo Whitey. Jumbo white bass. That one's not quite as big, but I will take it. Beautiful white bass. Man, these fish. He was right in there. Right on the point. I don't think this is a white bass here. This has got to be a striper. Little striper. 
That is fun. Kind of nice. My first striper of the day. That's uh, wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> I wondered. Wonder where the stripers were. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a good one here, I think. So most of the guide boats and all the fishermen are way up north in the river. And I didn't see any stripers today, so I figured I better check down south a little further, and this is where they're at. And I, there's a bunch of them, too. There's just enough current that they're, they are stout in this current. This is a good fish though. This is not a bad fish. Look at the belly on it, man, beautiful. They're just beautiful fish. Oh boy. I see quite a few of them on the graph. They're not easy to catch. They're just not easy to catch. This one's a crappie. It's okay. I like I like catching fish. Just a little guy. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Had a pretty good day. Went up the river. Uh, the lake up uh, on the north part of the lake is really muddy. So I tried to get above the mud, which I did, and I, I caught some beautiful white bass and a few stripers. I had a pretty good day. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Come back and fish with me next time.